Hi guys, this is Rachel. I know it's been such a long time, so I do apologise. Just kind of had a lot to do. Um, but I'm here today with my current faves. Um, just products really, like um, beauty products. And yeah, so here we go. Um, first thing are these lip glosses. <laughs> I can't hold all of them. And they are from Superdrug. Absolutely love these because they are scented, but you can't actually taste the scent. If that makes sense, you can't taste the flavour, which I like. You can just smell it. Um, so the first one is um, this is by I Love. I think they're called. Yeah, I Love Cosmetics, but you get them at Superdrug. So the first one is I Love Mango and Papaya. And it's so nice. That's what it looks like inside. It smells so good. So that's that one. The second one is I love coconut and cream. This smells really sweet. It's, it might not be everyone's favourite because too much of it does actually make you feel a bit sick because it's so sweet but I like sweet stuff. And then I've got, I love raspberry and blackberry. And this is nice. And they all have a colour to them, so a slight tint. And the last one is, I love strawberries and milkshake. And that's what that looks like. So these two, the last two, um, I love raspberry and blackberry and I love strawberry and milkshake. These are actually my favourite. I mix these two colours and wear them every single day. Um, I just like the colour combination that they create. It's on my lips now. It's quite subtle but very natural so yeah. Those are my favourite lip balms at the moment. Then we'll move on to face products. And the first one is this translucent powder you probably saw it in my everyday makeup routine so and this is by CC UK and it is this is what it looks like I normally use this under my eyes and just to kind of take away any kind of shine for my face so that's really good Next is the Sleek Blush Palette. So this is Blush by 3 in colour Pumpkin. And it's my absolute favourite because you just get three amazing colours in one palette. And for those who are dark skinned like myself, don't be afraid to use bright colours because it actually looks amazing on dark skin. So thumbs up for Sleek. Uh, and the last is my favourite. This is the bronzing powder by Bourjois. I actually purchased this years ago when it first started before YouTube even came about. So, um, but I always forget about it until summer comes because I don't wear foundation. And in the summer I don't wear powder or anything. I actually just use this and apply it all over my face and that's what I'm wearing now just all over my face and it looks like that I've almost hit pan had this one for a while like I said I just bring it out in summer and when you first buy it it does smell like chocolate and then the smell kind of goes away but this is great if you don't want to wear too much makeup in the summer especially and I have oily skin, especially my T-zone area on my face, which can be annoying if you apply makeup and have to keep dabbing it with tissue or something. But um, a lot of people ask me, including my sisters, what to use to control the oil on your face. And I use this oil control lotion and it's by Fashion Fair. So what I do, I either put this underneath my makeup, so I just apply it onto some cotton wool and dab it on my face and I put my makeup on, or I put my makeup on first and dab it on top of it. 
and this actually does work it's quite pricey it's about 20 pounds but it lasts you a lifetime you only did you only need like a little bit of it so it's definitely worth it and still one of my favorites for oil control and lip products favorite lip gloss ever yes to carrots i did a review on the yes to carrots um brand a couple of years ago i think now and this is still my number one lip gloss it's organic it's fresh and yeah the flavor that i like is fruity flirty pink sorry and it's so nice it just gives you a nice natural color and i love it then we go on to lipstick and i'm loving the MUA Makeup Academy from Superdrug. Um, this is in lipstick shade 11. This is my favourite. It looks like that. And it's really natural. And this is something that I can wear during the day um, on its own because it's quite moisturising, or I could a lip gloss over it but it's a great color try it and for my eyebrows because sometimes my eyebrows give me problems i have very very light eyebrows so i have to pencil them in to fill them in oh it's very bright in here all of a sudden to pencil them in and sometimes they just don't set properly so i use well Ooh, this light is crazy um, you can get a brow set or you can use I think the favorite is like the elf brow set but I use the MUA again makeup Academy so it's a bit dirty this is actually a clear mascara and I just put it on my eyebrows to set it and this only cost a pound so it's cheap it's effective and it works so give it a go on to the nails first one I have is gosh and this is in ocean the color is amazing I tend to use this a lot but I decided to give it a break because it's like nearly done. Um, so yeah, love this colour. Next one which I also love is this nail polish. And it's like a, a rich blue. And this is by Stargazer. Um, I can't remember what colour this is. But it has a number. 105. But this is so nice. I love this. And the last one for nails is American Apparel Glitter. And what's this called? Hmm. Oh yeah. Supernova. This is amazing. It lasts ages. I love the colours and I love American Apparel in general. This is great. Okay, so moving on to hair. This spray is amazing. Olive oil organic sheen spray. This is just, I just love this. It's great for all the seasons. It's not even about summer or anything. It's, I just love, absolutely love it. I could swim in this stuff. I just love it. Makes your hair nice and shiny, um, smells good. It's cheap and it does what it says on the can. So yeah, get that. And then we have the Batiste dry shampoo. Love, love, love. And I only ever use the tropical flavors. This one is coconut and exotic trop tropical. Like I said, I like sweet smells. I like everything sweet and this is great. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is if you spray it too close or too much you have like the white parts that tend to 
stick onto your hair and then you have to brush it out and all that stuff but I love it it smells good and I like this for volume it gives a lot of volume in the hair and yeah I love big big crazy hair <laughs> so yeah that's a good one that's my favorite one and then we've got the hair gloss by namaste lost the lid but I love the packaging um, this is sleek shine and it's just gorgeous it just makes the hair nice and shiny and it smells really good it doesn't leave any like greasy stains on your clothes or anything so absolutely love this check that out love 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 and on to scents perfume this is my favorite Parker Romain and absolutely love this it smells so good this particular scent is a mature smell I normally go for extremely um, sweet fruity smell but for some reason I love this and it just says lady million on it love 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 this scent this is small so good body splash Victoria's Secret totally finished this I spray all over myself spray it in my hair spray it on my clothes spray it on my skin this smells absolutely delicious <laughs> and it's just lovely um yeah Victoria's Secret coconut passion I need to buy another one in fact I'm desperate to get another one this is the best flavor since out of the whole bunch you can disagree with me but I'm staying put I absolutely love this and I've noticed out of the majority of them this has the longest staying power like you can spray it in the morning and it will be there all day you don't need to top up this is gorgeous yeah again coconut passion vanilla and coconut as it's written there so yeah love this okay my last two things my younger sister went to Germany the other day and she brought me back this delicious chocolate I'm not really quite sure how to pronounce it but let me give it a go Puerto Cabello <laughs> don't laugh at me but this tastes so delicious it's in between milk chocolate and dark chocolate and I normally love milk chocolate I don't really like dark chocolate but this tastes absolutely delicious um, I had to hide it from myself so I wouldn't finish it but it's finished now totally empty but it's so delicious and if anyone knows where I can get it from in this country please let me know because I want some more <laughs> and um, yeah since it's summer and it gets hot and this and that um, I always like to detox I do this all seasons anyway um, just to get rid of all that toxins and all that stuff I love to use my well drink my detox tea this is by Pucker. You can pick this up from most health shops. And it says it's organic aniseed, fennel and cardamom tea. To cleanse and revive. Doesn't taste very good. But it does the trick. And I absolutely love this. So, yes guys. That's my favourites. Current favourites at the moment. And... Um, please subscribe to us, me, RFA Beauty. Um, click the subscribe button, which should be up here, I think. I'm not sure. And um, yeah, I will leave all the links of the products that I've showed in the video below. Um, please follow me on Twitter. That's at RFA Beauty. Um, Facebook, we have a page as well, RFA Beauty, just type us in, look for us. And also on Tumblr, so RFA Beauty, just please Google and see what we're all about. And so yeah, I'll stop rambling on and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.
Bye.